go. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're talking about Fubo TV. It was one of my favorite stocks uh, last year, and there are definitely some learnings I have uh, come about with this stock, and I would like to reflect these. And we're gonna see if it's a hold at this point or you should be selling Fubo TV. So there are definitely some big aspects of Fubo TV that I did like, uh, especially the sports betting market uh, that they're entering and the management that I trusted in a lot. But some other things that did not go as to my plan and I did not see was the amount of cash they had. So as of last quarter, they had around like 300 million in cash. And I believe they're burning around 100 million in cash every single quarter. That's how much their losses. We can see that over here. So they definitely had to raise more and more cash. And as the stock was falling, the management had to take advantage of this. Uh, to keep raising cash before it would fall more and eventually now it's at 3.23 I wouldn't think the management would raise cash here and because that would severely dilute uh, shareholder equity but uh, it was definitely a drastic fall we could see from $34 um, back in November to all the way to $3 in uh, April so that's not a happy move but there are so many other opportunities in the market as well because of falls like these fubo tv is one of them it's one of the bigger ones i've seen because people do not want to be owning uh growth stocks and loss making companies and to be honest i wouldn't either want to hold one of these because the recession is in sight so definitely three dollars and 23 cents is pretty bad for this stock but on the bright side there is a world cup coming ahead that could push numbers up basically for fubo tv they would have to reach around 4 million subscribers that's what david gandler their ceo says in order to actually start becoming profitable and cash flow positive but currently they're spending a lot on marketing trying to get more users their growth is quite quick there that's what really attracted me to this company was the growth because they're growing their revenues around like 100 percent per year but i can see growth slowing down and also because the package price is 68 dollars and they're slowly increasing the package price which will affect users um so it was one of my favorite stocks so what are the big learnings i've got from fubo tv um i always i always like to reflect on my learnings because i hope not to make the same ones again well firstly is never listen to price targets um i used to look at market beat i remember an analyst from a uh, laura martin gave this stock uh, a 60 dollar price target and that really lured me into this uh, company and their targets were bizarre they were like 60 50 40 all above 40 and the stock was at like 20 so never get attracted by price targets from analysts um, they mean nothing because the moment the stock starts to fall they just cut it uh, i remember laura martin cut her price target from a uh, 30 uh, from 60 all the way down to 15 when there was no change in company news everything was working out and that's what was kind of painful with this company everything was just so great and every single quarter was so great they kept raising expectations their guidance but uh it just wasn't the right environment guys and if they would just have uh, like one billion or two billion in cash sure the one the hundred million uh cash burn isn't that bad you can look at a stock like DraftKings; it's still pretty much floating at 14 bucks but uh fubo just didn't have the cash and they had to dilute uh, shareholder equity there was no real insider purchasing except recently david gandler's bought some stock or three but i really don't see any hope for fubo tv anymore uh at least in the near term because of this environment with a recession uh pretty likely ahead and they just have to focus on cutting their losses and somehow becoming profitable uh, maybe the world cup can help with this but it's a tough situation now and probably the streaming business is not the most profitable business to invest in um and sports betting it was kind of um a hype business a lot like the electric vehicle business so all the stocks were running up higher for for those reasons and to be honest it's not really a sports betting company the users are not like DraftKings and stuff and they're not promoting it like that either so we're going to see how uh, things work out, but things are looking tough for Fubo TV. Um, I wish if I was buying more here, but I would like to wait some time and see what the management has to say. And 
even if the stall goes up to 10, you could still buy it at 10 if things are working out. But currently things are not working out uh, as per expectations. And here's one of those, those examples of um, buying the dip. Like if you keep buying the dip, you at the end could lose it all. Like you have to try and invest in a company that would not go to zero. That's what really, really matters. And to be honest, there are other ones, uh, growth companies that I do prefer. I like SoFi and SoFi's management as well. I really like Upstart. I mean, Upstart really, really fell. And Upstart's one I really like. And it came to 20s. I didn't buy it here. Uh, I think I bought Upstart at the 80s level. But wow, this one was at 400. So the falls have been pretty huge. I've not been buying into NEO. I did buy one share of Tesla. Wish I've not been buying. These are just some of the stocks I have in this watch list here. Bumble I sold because, wow, Bumble's been holding up pretty well. Um, some of uh, Square not holding too much. I sold some at the 140 level. I uh, haven't bought any here. Uh, is this American Eagle? Yes, I bought some American Eagle down over here. Uh, I think it's a great value play. And if I can find PayPal, because PayPal is one big mega dog I really like over here. It's around 80 bucks right now. And it's, uh, I think, trading under a 20 PE, which is relatively low for its standards. Um, Magnite, not been buying over here. Netflix at 191. That's really interesting. I think I had one share of Netflix around 350. I uh, haven't bought Netflix since then. It's been a long time since I made a video, but uh, Corsair Gaming, one that a lot of people like. I think I had it at the 20s. Uh, I'm currently not buying one ahead. Look, it all depends on these interest rates going up, and it's probably better to wait for those interest rates to rise and see the effect on the economy. And uh, I think it's probably going to be a very small recession ahead. But uh, I would still wait. Beyond Meat's been a total disaster, actually. I had some in the 40s, but um, it's below its IPO price, guys. And it's just a loss after a loss. Uh, making $100 million in revenue, but it's just a loss after a loss. I guess people are just not buying uh, plant-based meat. So um, these are some of the companies. Um, let's see what's... Oh, okay, ARK. Um, yeah, I have to say this one's also been a disaster. It was at 150 and 42. Um, some of its holdings include Peloton, Zoom. Zoom is the one I really, really like, though. I purchased some at the 90s level. Uh, maybe I can load it up for you guys. But Zoom has really, really worked hard. Um, one thing I don't like about Zoom is it only focuses on Zoom. It doesn't have any other businesses. But 107 bucks over here uh, for it was around 565 even around a year ago. And nothing has really, really changed except the PE has come to a sweet spot. I think around a 20 PE. Um, but okay, interest rates are going up, so your valuations also have to adjust. But this market is just so exciting, and that's what I really like about this market. There's so many different opportunities, and Fubo TV, I would not buy right now. Uh, if you have a position like I do, I'm currently holding on to it. Let's see if it comes to the 10 or 11 levels. Maybe I might have to exit if it comes to a good price because things are looking tough at Fubo TV. And I have to say I got things wrong with Fubo TV. And it's probably one of the ones I got wrong in this market downturn. But that's the thing. If you diversify well, one bad hit should not be too meaningful for you because the other ones you have confidence in. For example, Disney I really like uh, at 105 and it's a mega dog so you have to have a combination of mega dogs and small stocks like fubo tv tesla is really ripping today uh is it going to go back to the uh, 1100 level that might be great because i might have to sell it then but uh, i sold it i sold it like last time i bought it like here sold it here so that was nice uh wish is trying to do a turnaround i like wish has 1 billion in cash and its market cap is also the same as its cash so uh it's less risk right now compared to fubo tv um but that will be it maybe uh i might make a video soon again but uh i really wanted to make a video and it's been a long time and thank you guys for watching and if you guys have any questions uh let me know and i will see you guys next time